and stuff. I'm going to do a video on how to pick your parts for Macintosh PowerBook G3. And it's a pretty cool design on how to pick your parts. There are easier models to pick apart. Some that you can just press there and remove the keyboard. So I'm going to start all, start out with uh, how to pick this one apart. So um, you remove the two drives and the battery and the two uh, by removing these things. And then once you remove the drives, then underneath this, in here, there should be two little um, kind of things that you pull back. And so we're going to do this. And then they're towards the back of it, not in the front. They're black. You just pull them back and you'll hear a little clicking noise because the keyboard is moving. Now just take your thumbs down here, lift the keyboard, pull it back just a slight bit, then lift it like this. And then you want to get it from the back and then rest it right there, open it up, and then you've got the internal components. So, um, so right here is where the hard drive is. Uh, the CPU is housed right there, and that's where you can add an expansion card or something. And also, if you need to get to the PRAM, that's right around here. You just remove a couple things right there. And that's how you take apart a Macintosh PowerBook G3. Uh, now, a couple of you are probably wondering, how do you put it back on? Well, yeah, it's pretty easy. So, you take it. Uh, bring it down, and all these go into a little slot, specifically for each one. And you need to make sure it's all lined up in the slots, push it in there, and then push down right there. It'll click on that side, and then push down on this side, and it'll click on that side. And then the keyboard's all back on, and then you would want to put the drives back in until they click back in. And then turn it on. And your PowerBook is ready to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.